Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're gonna try the new legendary foods, Tasty Pastries. And we'll see if we can eat like a kid again, right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is TwoCrazyKetos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. I'm super excited about this one. So, Legendary Foods has recently come out with these tasty pastries. Let's be honest, they're Pop-Tarts. They're Pop-Tarts, exactly. They're Pop-Tarts. I used to, let's face it, I didn't just love Pop-Tarts when I was a kid because when I was a kid, we didn't really get Pop-Tarts. They were too expensive. But as an adult, I've always loved them. And so did our kids. We would find them on sale all the time and we'd come home with like a hundred boxes of Pop-Tarts. Probably not our most brilliant parenting move because they had a ton of sugar in them. They did. And that actually says that right on the side of this box, it actually has a regular toaster pastry, a Pop-Tart, yeah. compared to the legendaries. And it says like a regular one is 200 calories. These so are 170. Sad. A regular Pop-Tart is 38 grams of net carbs and 16 grams of sugar as opposed to four net carbs and less than one gram of sugar. Wow. So I am super, super excited to try these. I mean, they are like frosted with sprinkles on them. Yeah, so there's two flavors. I have strawberry. And I have brown sugar cinnamon. That was the kind I always liked. I, I always went towards that one. Oh, well then let's, I'll swap, we're gonna, I'll swap yeah. We're gonna swap. So we did get these from Legendary Foods. We have a link down below um, for you to go ahead and get them. And if you go get them off of their website, because they're also available on Amazon, mm -hmm. you can use the code 2 crazy Ketos to get 10% off. Now, we do love the Legendary Foods nut butters and the nuts. I haven't nuts. tried this, though. Yeah, we have not tried this. We've tried a lot of the nuts when they come in, like our keto crates and stuff like that. But we've never tried this. So, oh, I like the fact that they're individually wrapped instead of like two in yes, a package. Yes, because I will eat both of those yeah, things. you never ate one. No. Okay, so we're going to try these. Then we're going to put them through the five things reviews like we always do. But here's the question. I never wanted to heat them up. Really? I did want to heat them up. So are we going to review these heated or not heated? I hate to say this, but I think we're going to have to blow through two of them. I think that we need to have one heated and one not. Why don't we do one flavor heated and one flavor not heated? Which flavor should we heat? This one. So we're going to heat brown sugar and we're going to try strawberry unheated. Okay. We will be right back. Ooh. Smell that. It smells, it smells like, like brown sugar. A cinnamon brown sugar toast. Okay, so I did cheat a little bit. I did it in the microwave, not the toaster oven, just to save time. But well, it does say you can do it yeah. in the microwave, right? It says for toaster or microwave, remove from the wrapper before heating, toast on the lowest setting or microwave for five seconds, let cool before handling, Oops. and enjoy. Okay, well, we're going to let it cool then. And well, let's eat the strawberry one first. It says tasty alert. Filling and icing may be hot. Okay, so we're going to let this one cool and we're going to go strawberry first. This is enjoy with caution. These pastries are dangerously delicious. I have a feeling. Okay. You're going to love these? I'm like so excited. And don't I feel break like them. a little kid. They're Pop-Tarts. I know. Keto Pop-Tarts. Ooh, look at Aww. that. Aw. It totally looks like a Pop-Tart. Okay. We're just having like a nostalgic 80s moment right now. Oh my gosh, it's even breaking like a Pop-Tart. Honestly? Oh, actually, it's not breaking as much. It's a little bit more like... It looks fresher than a Pop-Tart. It Pop -Tart. looks <laughs> fresher than a Pop-Tart. Look at that. Pop-Tarts always looked a little bit like they were made out of plaster of Paris, right? Like, a little bit plaster. I look at that strawberry. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, it smells like pastry. Wow. Such a better mouth 
mouth mouthfeel than an actual pop tart. <laughs> that is good. I have a feeling these are much better warm though. It's very like it's nice and chewy because the pop tarts always tasted like like a little stale. Mm hmm. Wait, wait. You got to put it in your mouth and put your tongue on the icing before you start chewing. Just okay. trust me. Just trust me. Hold on, I'm eating the crust, because the crust is really good. The crust is really good. Hmm. It like dissolves a little bit. Mm hmm But it's sweet. No cooling effect. I don't know what's in what the what the sweetener is, but mm. that was good. I want to kind of just like lick the inside of this strawberry filling. That is wow. good. It's I think really, it's really good. good. Okay, you ready to go cinnamon? Mm hmm Okay, so this one is heated. Cinnamon is heat. Oh my gosh. I think heating them is going to be better. I think heating them is going to be better. But they were better. really good like that. Look at that. It's like fresh baked. Oh. Oh my. Okay, you need to heat the rest of this. We'll be right back. Oh my gosh. Did you eat mine? Mm-mm. I have video evidence. You have video evidence. I'm only eating what you gave me. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna tell you right now. That is good. The kids are getting none of these. No, none of this is going to the children. Not one. This is good. Okay. Let's go strawberry heated. This is crazy good. Yeah, heated. Heat it. Don't eat these heat unheated. I loved Pop Tarts unheated. You gotta heat these. Wow. Five, ten seconds. I mean, I put it on a dish 15 seconds, and that's on a dish, so that takes away a little bit of the heat. Those are crazy good. Wow. 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 I'm impressed. Let's see how bad the ingredients are. I know, right? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do five things. Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're gonna talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend these? Number one. Number one is the ingredients. I, I don't know how they can be really good. Almond flour, protein blend, which is micellular casein, collagen peptides, whey protein isolate. Erythritol. Soluble corn fiber, high oleic sunflower oil, allulose, palm oil, cellulose, contains less than 2% of vanilla extract, cinnamon, sea salt, baking soda, <laughs> gelatin, got me a grape. citric acid, xanthan gum, cocoa, sunflower, less than modified food starch, glycerin, sucralose, sodium alginate, natural flavors. There's a lot of ingredients in this. There's a lot of ingredients in it. Um, it's not super clean but it's not horrible when you look at you're having a dessert yeah so would i eat them every single day probably not i would want to i want to but as a little treat here or there it's like a nice forget eating it for breakfast i could see eating this, this as just a like dessert. a dessert yeah so the ingredients are seven out of ten i mean I will say at least when they talk about like the things that I really don't like, like modified food starch, it says less than 2% of. It does have sunflower oil and palm oil in it, but it is kind of lower down. It looks like the main ingredients are almond flour, the protein blend, and then erythritol. erythritol. So, and then the soluble corn fiber is probably what's in the middle. So here's the funny thing. What do we always complain about like keto cookies that does it taste like a bunch of almond flour and erythritol? It does not taste like almond flour at all. There is no bad wonky flavor to this. It's delicious. No. Okay. Number two, does it keto based on a nutrition label? All right. I'll take this one. So a pastry, which again. One. I'm very glad that they have one pastry per bag. Yeah. 170 calories per pastry, 13 grams of fat, 9 grams of protein, 21 total carbohydrates. Okay. Eight dietary fiber. Five erythritol, four allulose. Okay, and then the cinnamon, this is the cinnamon. Cinnamon has six erythritol and four allulose. I gotta say, I'm pretty happy that it isn't like 21 total carbohydrates and 19 fiber. No, that's it's, what I it's was a expecting. lot of sweetener and they are sweet. They're not overly sweet not except overly. for the icing. I mean, but when you combine it all, now if you're going to eat the icing alone, it's super sweet. I was expecting it to be a little bit 
like a sugar bomb in my no, mouth. No, it's not. It's definitely it wasn't. not it was like that. Nice. Unless you literally scraped off the icing and ate the icing alone. It was definitely an elevated Pop Tart. Yeah, it was really, really good. So these are three net carbs. Those are four this net is, carbs? Yeah. Four net carbs. Now, again, comparing it to, they have a little thing on the side of the box, comparing it to a regular Pop Tart toaster, they have to say toaster pastry, obviously. A regular one is 210 calories, so close to the same calories, 170 versus 210. Yeah. But your difference is three net carbs to 35 net carbs I and mean, less than one gram of sugar here as opposed to 15 grams of sugar in a regular Pop-Tart. Same here. So um, if you're getting this, you know, any of these frosted ones, which these are always the ones that I got, mm -hmm. you're looking at 38 net carbs normally down to four net carbs, 16 grams of sugar down to less than one gram of sugar. Yeah. So I'm pretty impressed. I'm very I'm, impressed. I'm pretty impressed. Little bit high on the carb thing. If you're total carbs, it's again, I would use it as a treat thing. Maybe one every other day, one every few days is, hey, I'm gonna give myself a little treat. I'm gonna tell you right now, cause we're getting into number three, yep. which is how does it taste? Yes. I am absolutely all day long getting these for kids. I'm going to say, we haven't gone to the cost part yet, but I'm going to say, like, I can imagine Anthony, who loves Pop-Tarts, still eats them all the time right now. I don't want to share them with him. But, but I can see Anthony liking these. We will have to get him on video trying them at some point, like maybe on one of our blogs or something like that. Because I think they're really good, and I think most kids will not know that this is not a sugar Pop-Tart. I will crap on this. They're going against a pop tart. Okay. I Dude. love pop tart. Wait. <laughs> That's what? pretty good, actually. It's pretty good, isn't it? Actually, they need to do a s'mores one. Well, they have two flavors. They have that and strawberry. Y'all need to do a s'mores. Number three. We just said it. Really, how does it taste? Awesome. I think they taste really, really good. I wish there were more flavors. Right now, there's only two flavors. There's the cinnamon and there's the strawberry. But I think that they went with the ones that people remember I think they the went most. with the most too popular. You know, obviously you always like the s'mores and all of the different weird flavors that came out over the years. But I think this was they the hard it. right? Strawberry, brown. If you're going to start somewhere, this is where you start. And heat them. You got to heat them. That's the good, one thing. They're good regular though. I, I would say they were okay not heated. Now we only tried the strawberry not heated. And I have a feeling the cinnamon would taste better not heated than the strawberry one not heated. Uh huh. But the heating it just elevates it. It's so it. good. It's, but, it's worth the 10 seconds. But if you want to throw this into a kid's lunchbox as like their snack. They're not going to complain. They're not going to complain about it. Yeah. So number four, how much do they cost? This is the hardest part for us whenever yeah. we do keto things because I'm used to paying not even $3 a box for Pop-Tarts. Yeah, we used to go to Big Lots, get them like less than $2 a box or go to the dollar store. We used to only buy the ones that were like beyond the best buy date. Was there ever a best date for those things? I mean, if you do go to the grocery store, you're going to pay like, you know, five, six dollars for a box of like the good flavors, the newer right. flavors. Uh, but let's face it, these are keto foods. These have ingredients like almond flour, and there's a erythritol allulose, a very expensive keto sweetener. So I expect them to be more money, and honestly, I hate talking about costs when it comes to keto foods. What is the damage on these? But we do have to talk about it because it matters, right? And the box of these, 10 in a box, is $24.99. Wow. Now... If you compare that to what we used to pay for traditional Pop-Tarts. It'll blow your face off. That's ridiculously expensive. Yeah. But if you compare that to other keto treat slash dessert options, which is what I would put this in. I'm not yeah. going to say this is a breakfast item. You mean like, this is, like smart cakes yeah, or a bar? This is a keto treat, a keto dessert, a little something maybe to like, hey, I want a little something but Cookies. not overly done, like a cookie. You compare it to that, like you said, s'more cakes or cookies or muffins or anything that are out there like that. I think you're right in line. The average bar is 250 to 350. The average pack of cookies, 250 to 350. That's the true. average bar, 250 to 350. I'm sorry, I said bar. The average cupcake, they're all in that price range. So I said, when you look at it in that aspect of yeah. comparing it to other keto treat options, I think you're right in line. I think you are too. And yeah, I mean, maybe if the cost prohibits us just a little bit, we will put treats 
in their proper place, yeah. right? This should not be breakfast, yeah. no matter what. Whether you are six years old or you are 60 years old, this is a treat. This way we, well, maybe we'll eat them like a treat. And that's how you know, we should be eating, but I have to confess, like even as a 40 year old, we would have so many Pop-Tarts. I would eat a couple for breakfast on my way out the door. I would then maybe eat another one as a snack, like somewhere throughout the dinner day, like, hey, I'm hungry, it's not dinner time, let me eat a pack of Pop-Tarts. And I never ate one because you would open it up and have to eat two. How were we thinking that that was going to fuel us for whatever it was that we were going to meet during the day? I don't know. So number five. Yes. Would we recommend this? I think that we should definitely have these in the house for kids alone. Just, yeah. just to help them make that transition into a much better low sugar, no sugar options. Yep. Here's what I'm gonna say. I will recommend it, but with a stipulation. This is not breakfast. No. This is a dessert. I could see using this the end of the day. You know what? I don't feel like having a bunch of, you know, like ice cream or yeah. something like that. I just want a little something. I can even see you and I taking one of these, heating it up and kind of splitting it as just a little sweetness. Just give yourself that little bit. But I would not be eating this as a meal. I think that's the worst thing that we could do is start trying to bring back into our keto lifestyle this as your this breakfast. type of a overall meal. Right. Put it in its place where it should be as a little bit of a treat slash dessert. I'm telling you what, this with a cup of coffee warmed up, maybe even like squirt a little whipped cream right on top of that guy. Yeah. I mean, it is delicious. Yeah. Kind of like, you know, tea and you know biscuits kind of it thing. almost reminds me of like a little pie or something yeah. but and now as for kids i think this is incredible yes it's more expensive throw out the pop tarts but our this. kids health is much more important and much more valuable than the fact that we were paying four or five dollars like the bottom line is their health is worth it especially if you're not going to give this to them every single day as their breakfast yeah and they get to enjoy their childhood we're not trying to take away like yeah. every fun food i mean it's frosted with sprinkles on it it's so fun yeah and we don't want them to miss out on that if they don't have to i mean this is such a better option now here's the thing i didn't say this at the beginning of the video but I did reach out to Legendary Foods. If you are interested, again, we have a coupon code. It's Two Crazy Ketos. That's going to get you 10% off. There's a link down below. But in speaking to her, I said, hey, I want to give some of these away. Let some people try. Yes. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to give away a box of these. Wow. An entire box. Your choice of flavor. Wow. I don't even know which one to recommend. So what you need to do Both is you on. need to be subscribed Either. to our channel. You need to hit the like button on this video and then you need to write a comment down below. Let us know what flavor you would rather have or what flavor did you like when you were a kid or when you used to eat Pop-Tarts. We're gonna run the contest, or not the contest, but the giveaway mm -hmm. for one week. We're gonna put the date that we're gonna end it down on the bottom of the screen and we will draw one winner. The winner will then let us know what flavor they want I'm going to tell Legendary Foods and, and they mail will out. mail it directly to you. What do you think of that? You didn't know about the giveaway, did I you? I did not know about the giveaway. I think that that is awesome because I'd like to hear their feedback mm -hmm. from it. But I can't stop thinking, which one would I recommend? Because usually, guys, when I taste one, I think, well, there's a clear front runner yeah. for which one I would pick if I was choosing. Well, guys, that is our video for today. Please do us a favor. Hit the like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. That way, every single time we taste something tasty, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.